Hey, Proxy. How have you been? Don't ask. So many things have happened recently. I'm finding it hard to even smile. What happened? Ugh, the atmosphere is so heavy, it's like a fly got stuck to a mousetrap. What happened to the smile you had when leaving with the one million that day? An adult smile vanishes with their money. It's gone? One million is still a huge sum after tax. But it's gone already? Huh, I know you've been modifying Steel Tusk. Did you make it run on Denny's or something? Not quite, but close. You know I've been trying to improve Steel Tusk's performance. So, once I had the money, I immediately started searching for the best parts on the market. That's when someone contacted me, saying there was a top-of-the-line truck engine that came from a source with an interesting backstory. Oh, it was such a beauty. I bought it as soon as I saw it. Didn't even haggle. Bernice, you were there at the test drive after we installed it on Steel Tusk, right? Oh, I remember. Steel Tusk won't lose to any vehicle in a contest of speed now. Ah, uh, too bad it ran out of gas after just three kilometers, or I would have driven it for the entire day. <sighs> That's the problem. I used premium fuel, but the engine's design sacrifices efficiency for power. With the heavy truck and cargo, even a full tank only lasts three kilometers. Yeah, Steel Tusk's fuel efficiency does seem to have a problem. Three kilometers? Ugh, that's like a school bus. Obviously, I had to do something about it. I even considered reinstalling the old engine, but... I knew I couldn't go back after I put my hands on its steering wheel and got a taste of its speed. So, I needed another solution. Call me desperate, but I bought every exotic energy-saving part I could find on the market, consulted an expert who charged 10,000 denies per hour, and even tried to modify the engine myself. Well, long story short, I spent all that money for nothing. That's so touching. You're like a husband who won't give up on his terminally ill wife. Uh, don't say my wife. Uh, no, I mean, don't say my truck is terminally ill. Piper, it really hasn't been easy for you. Before coming here, I thought I had it worse than everyone else. You too, Proxy? I know you citizens of New Eridu pay several times more tax than us. But even then, how expensive could it be to modify your little car? I didn't modify my car. The expenses just piled up. After paying taxes and settling the overdue electricity bill, I lent the rest to a friend to invest. I think people in our situation should just stay away from investments, let alone lending money to a friend to invest. Uh, on the bright side, the prize money hasn't disappeared, it's just turned into an IOU. Stay positive and hopeful like Bernice, and maybe one day you'll see the money again? Aw, thanks for the compliment! I, I wasn't... Uh, fine, I was complimenting you. It looks like you used your prize money in the best way possible. The proxy and I both thought this money could change your lives. But the happiness didn't last, and life feels even more difficult now. The proxy has to worry day and night about the return on investment, while I constantly worry about how long Steel Tusk can keep running. How did this happen? Bernice, what was on your mind when you spent that money? What was on my mind? Huh. I don't think there was anything on my mind, really. How come you always notice things in life that need changing? Oh, is it because you're smart and observant? Uh, I have everything I want. I have fuel, nitro fuel, and the best friends in the world. When something new comes up, I'll take it in stride. Like how you were new to me, Proxy. But now we're friends. And I know that you like me for me, so... I don't need to change anything about myself. Not that I would. Not for you, anyone, or anything. That's why I'm dragging you two along with me to complete commissions, even though I know you're both in a bad mood. Maybe you'll cheer up after getting some action. You... kind of have a point. Let's do some commissions. I'll lead the way.
Piper! Get yourself together! I'm totally together. Have a rest for me. them. And this cutie bang boo, of course. Don't mention it. I'm glad you're okay. Wait, is it just me, or does it seem like this old man is about to pull out a lottery ticket to show his gratitude? You? How did you know? I haven't taken out the lucky lottery ticket I use as my lucky charm yet. <sighs> I know. Is this one of those pranks that you kids are into these days? Or was I right all along about the impending doom of the world and the new Eridu government monitoring everyone? Wow! It's a wonderful thing! But calm down first. At the very least, I can guarantee that I, Bernice, am not a government agent. Uh, I can't vouch for the two next to me, though. Hey, you've known us for ages. Vouch for us. Oh, fine. Since you look like my mm, first love when she was young, I'll take your word for it. Uh, here, take this lottery ticket. It'll bring you good luck. Thanks! 
Is this a miracle lottery ticket that can win three million? A miracle? Miracles are worth so much more than just three million. Since I started carrying this lottery ticket, I've never had a bad day. Such an incredible streak of luck is worth more than 30 million. Amazing! Is 30 million enough to transform a volcano into a nitro fuel fountain? 30 mil? I don't need that much. 10 million is more than enough to solve all of Steel Tusk's problems. Oh no, you're getting carried away too, Piper. Calm down. But I really can sense a lucky energy from this lottery ticket. It feels warm and sticky. Th that's probably the old man's hand sweat. Come to your senses, Bernice. Roxy, stop overthinking things. This 30 million could ease all the hardships of an adult's weary life. Now's the time to celebrate. If I were in the car, I'd be honking like mad. We're doomed. Piper's pupils have become Denny signs. I've only ever seen that happen to Nicole. <laughs> I'm going to be the goddess of a volcanic lake filled with nitro fuel. Did you drop this bottle of vintage drink? Or that glass of Duelist Special? Steel Tusk, wait for me. I'll never give up on you. I'll make you the best drug in the history of the Outer Ring. <laughs> Don't just stand there, Proxy. The live broadcast of the lottery is over, but we can still check the winning numbers in a newspaper. Bernice and I will look for a newspaper. We'll wait for you to come and witness this miracle moment. Do you have any good news for us? I have good news and bad news. I strongly suggest you hear the bad news first. No, I want to hear the good news first. I think it's about time something good happened in my life. I want to hear the good news too! I'm the type who always hears the good news first. Okay, the good news is we won the 30 million jackpot. I knew it! I knew it! Calm down first. This is cruel, but you still need to hear the bad news. This ticket was issued more than a year ago. I checked the conditions, and the redemption period is one year. The redemption period ended one month ago, which means the prize money has been returned to the pool. No way! So you're saying we have no claim to the 30 million any- <sighs> If you think about it from another perspective, maybe the 3 million we won before is part of this 30 million! <sighs> Uh, what do you think, Piper? Does the... <laughs> That's more like it! There's nothing I love more than Piper's joyful smile and infectious laughter! Piper? You okay? I totally understand your disappointment. You don't need to force yourself. I knew it. There's no such thing as a free lunch. I once thought I understood everything. But now I know that I don't understand anything at all. <sighs> Sorry, Steel Tusk. I'll reinstall your old engine and return to my old life. <sighs> What's wrong with that? After all, the characters all return to their old lives at the end of Adventure Story. I don't understand. But I'm sure about one thing. You mustn't reinstall the old engine. What will I do with the new fuel formula I spent all night researching if you do that? Oh, what's that? You have a new fuel formula? Oh, didn't I tell you? While thinking about Steel Tusk's fuel efficiency issue after our last test drive, it hit me. 
why not tackle a fuel problem with a fuel-related solution? Instead of making hardware modifications. I already tested the effects of my new formula with Steel Tusk this morning. What? How did it go? Nah, I guess it was okay. It consumed about 10% more fuel than the old engine. I added a little more of the good stuff to the formula. Mm, but the cost increases a bit, too. But I'm sure you'll be okay with it if it means Steel Tusk can perform at its best. Oh, you're right. This solves Steel Tusk's fuel consumption problem. I know, I know. What you want to do most right now is to test it out, right? I should have enough of the test fuel to fill up the tank. I'll fill it up now. It won't be long. She's so amazing. The charm of a return to everyday life ending. Perhaps it's because the everyday includes friends like Bernice and you, Proxy. Compared to suddenly getting rich and feeling lonely after a major life change, maybe this isn't so bad. <sighs> no, I still really want to get rich. What should I do? It's too torturous to live with the delusion that you can get something for nothing. I think we should cherish our peaceful daily lives, because you never know how long the peace will last. That makes sense. Lady Luck might favor people who are content and pure-hearted like you, rather than a mercenary like me. <laughs> the tank is filled to the brim. Full speed ahead, Steel Tusk! Vroom, vroom! <laughs> well, I'm off now. You take care, Proxy. Don't worry. I'll be sure to call you the next time Bernice enters a hollow to save some old people. <laughs>